When I did my last custom minifigure display update, we looked at version, I think it was like version three, four, five, something like that, which was this plate which stopped your minifigures from cracking. And it does work with any minifigure that has a one, two, even a three stud connection or so, like my minifigure scale R2D2. But I name dropped a design that was an improvement on the CMF display plate that would enclose your minifigures, making them completely dust free and I have since printed that so let's take a look. So a very quick and brief history on my minifigure display. I wanted somehow I could display minifigures and either stack them or just make them not take up much space. So I invented this frame which is a Lego door with the four studs on the bottom. This is version one and then I created, I believe this was the next one, the mini one for characters like Grogu and the baby spaceman to take up less space and for a time it was actually displaying my Darth Vader head from the 20th anniversary minifigures. And then I cleaned it up and got rid of the two extra studs. And that made me realize that the window holes were still there. Would we be able to cover that? Well, we'll take a look at that in just a second because the last update introduced this one by two element or more so it actually introduced this one by two element, which was slightly off centered, printed with my old 3D printer. And since then, we got an upgrade. So we've got this. I'm not sure it will make much difference on camera, but you'll have to take my word for it. It's a lot, lot smoother than the other one. The other one looks like I've tried to inflate it, but I guess that was version two. And the reason this is a different version is because I've actually centered the four stud lines. They're not studs, the four lines on them. And these do fit onto any of the Lego studs, even my old 3D printed models. But today we're gonna to be taking a look at a brand new design, which is this case right here. And once again, this works with my latest plate. So if you didn't want your minifigures getting dust on them or cracking, you can use a combination. And I'll leave the video on the end screen for you to check out. Now, both of these also work with Official Lego plates, you can see this one by two clips on nicely and does not fall off. Even if we were to try and hold it by the plate, the Lego does stick. There's some lovely clutch power on these pieces. And as for the mini figures, well, there's not much clutch power because otherwise that would defy the point of them cracking. But the good thing about the newer design is that you can get a Lego window in it. Now, before any of you try this and print something similar and trap your minifigures. I do have to say, I recommend using a door element, but as you can see, the official Lego piece does pop in. I really like that popping sound and it homes it quite well. The reason I recommend using a door element is because if you had two glass pieces on here, how are you gonna get the minifigure out? At least with a door, I don't really know how we'll go about opening this I think if you grab a brick or something, you should be able to pull it open. I'll be honest, for a second there, I thought I wasn't ever gonna get that door open. But you can open the door and put the minifigure, if you put your minifigure backwards, you can display it with just the glass at the front. With someone with big fingers like mine, it's really hard to get your minifigure up there. So. Whilst I'm trying it, I'm gonna promote my recent short I made of a speed review of this ghost minifigure in the magazine that they come in. Really, really good job I think I did on it, but go watch it and let me know in the comments what you think of it. It was so much fun to record and hopefully I'll be able to do more stuff like that in the near future. But I'm just gonna put Spider Ghost or Ghost Spider in there for now and you can see if you had a stack of these on your shelf if you've watched avengers code red on disney plus if you haven't don't worry i've got a video covering all the easter eggs go check it out and you'll see exactly what i mean when i say this looks like how the collector stores minifigures and when i say i said it it's actually what my fiance pointed out to me and it does look like i've just boxed them up perhaps it'd be easier to open the door first time i don't know why it couldn't do that first time, but to keep the backs off. And even if you just didn't want the glass elements on there at all, you can just pop them out of both sides and display them like this so that you can see the minifigure a bit clearer. And it's so much easier 
to put the minifigure on the display. Again, these studs on there are 3D printed. They're not going to be as accurate as a Lego. So that's one way to stop your minifigures from cracking. But I know many of you don't have access to a 3D printer. So I have an alternate way of building this design. And all you're going to need is the following two two by three plates and two one by one tiles that you can put on one of the middle studs of each of these plates, but make sure they're both on the outer side. Then we're going to take a frame for the front or the back, dependent which way you are doing it first, and then a frame for the other side, which is why it doesn't really matter if you're doing the front first or the back. And then we're going to top this off with one of the CMF base plates. So I get that my version is meant to be in place of the CMF base plate, but I guess if you're building this out of Lego, you're gonna need a few of them at hand. And then you can also use whatever you like to put in the middle to display the actual minifigure. I know this panel piece is a popular choice among the Lego Star Wars community at least. I'm not sure if many people outside of Star Wars display their minifigures like this, I'm not sure many people worry about cracking outside of us LEGO Star Wars fans. And then you can take one or two, depending on how many glass pieces you have, they are sometimes on the pick a brick wall. So they should be fairly cheap on BrickLink and put it on the front, front and back. Maybe you want the front open and are trying to stop dust from behind sneaking in. And you can display your minifigures with their accessories and there should be no problem with any bulkier arm pieces in this display. Perhaps it's, again, easier if you put the minifigure in before you try and shut them in with all the glass elements. But as you can see, this would make a pretty cool display. I'm not sure if I will have another version of display of these. I guess you are saving two plates if you go with a 3D printed version. But when you're building up, you've really got so much more room to play with. I would love for Lego to even just sell this little build as one of their side things on the online pick a brick. But this is version one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven of my custom display. I might push it to 10 different versions if I can improve upon this. Let me know in the comments what you would do differently, but for now, that is all. Thank you so much for watching and check out the videos on screen now. Like I said, I will leave the last one if you haven't checked it out and also the short that this spider ghost is featured in. I know technically it's ghost spider. I'm going to keep calling it spider ghost and may the bricks be with you always.